Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the regular function which is f of z whose imaginary part is given. Let's take the imaginary part as b which is e power minus x into x cos y plus y sin y. Now, bx is the derivative, partial derivative with respect to x. So, we have to use the product rule for these two terms. Let's find the derivative of the first term which is e power minus x into minus 1 and second term as it is x cos y plus y sin y plus first term we keep as it is and derivative of the second term x derivative is 1 cos y is a constant so we keep 1 and 2 cos y and second term is fully constant so it is 0. Now let us find bx of z comma 0 where we substitute x as z. So first term is minus e power minus z and here when I put y as 0 the term remaining is only x and the x is z actually and second term is fully 0. In the same way plus e power minus z into 1. So here we can take e power minus z common. After taking common we left with minus z plus 1. So minus z plus 1. Now we are going to find by. Here the first term is fully constant so we keep it as it is and x cos y, x is a constant so it stays as it is and cos y is minus sin y and here we use a product rule y into sin y. So y we keep as it is derivative of sin y is cos y plus sin y and derivative of y is 1. Now when we find v y of z comma 0 this is e power minus z into since sin y is 0 when we replace y as 0 and there is a y so this is 0 this is zero, everything is 0 so totally this is 0. Now we are going to take f of z as u plus i v and f dash of z will be u x plus i v x using c r equations u x is v y and u y is minus v x and we are going to replace this u x by this v y so f dash of z becomes v y plus i v x using milne thompson method f of z becomes integral v y of z comma 0 dz plus i integral v x of z comma 0 dz. Now v y is 0 so entire term is 0 plus i integral this is e power minus z with a minus sign there is a minus sign here sorry there is a minus sign inside after taking e power minus z common minus z plus 1. So e power minus z into minus z plus 1 dz and this we have to follow the integration by parts. So we have two functions using i late method we identify one is algebraic this is algebraic this is exponential and u is minus z plus 1 dv is e power minus z dz this derivative becomes minus dz this integration is e power minus z by minus 1 now using u v minus integral v du u is minus z plus 1 and there is a i outside open a big bracket minus z plus 1 into e power minus z by minus 1 minus integral e power minus z by minus 1 into minus dz. Now finally 
we can cancel these two and we have a plus c also at the end and this is our f of z so f of z becomes i into even this minus if i multiply inside this becomes z and this becomes minus 1 so e power minus z into z minus 1 and here there is a minus sign integration of e power minus z is e power minus z by minus 1 i can make this as plus close the bracket plus c now we can take e power minus z common after taking common it is z minus 1 plus 1 plus c cancel this so this is i e power minus z plus c this is our f of z and after cancelling that one we have z so i is z e power minus z plus c thus we got the regular function f of z